What's up, y'all? This is Boxing Mind TV with another video. This video is about Shakur Stevens versus Frank Martin. They fight. Their fight has been confirmed for November 16th, I believe, and December 9th. Either one of them dates. They haven't decided which date they're going to fight on, depending on the venue they choose. I think one is Las Vegas, and I think the other ones may be... I can't remember the other, the other venue, but either La I know one of them is Las Vegas. But with that said, um, this matchup is very intriguing for the 135 pound division, and it's going to be it's going to be an electrifying night. You know, I think it's a good matchup uh, to have, given that Shakur Stevenson, Shakur Stevenson has tried to fight rumors anyway has tried to fight Lomachenko, and Lomachenko has basically yeah ba Lomachenko has basically came out and kind of like you know ducked the smoke with Shakur Stevenson on. Um, on Twitter, he did. He just wanted to fight Devin Haney again, but he didn't want to fight Shakur Stevenson for whatever reason. I'm thinking in my head maybe it's because of the the the, the sparring match they might have, they had years ago, and and from that point, I just feel like he didn't want to fight Shakur Stevenson. He knew how good Shakur Stevenson was, or was becoming to be, and now that he's on his like later stages of, of his career, he doesn't really want to fight nobody that. That's 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 good. That's that's as good as you know Shakur Stevenson. You know coming up very skilled, hard to hit. You know would be a, a problem for him, and don't want to look bad right now in this the the stage of his career right now. You know I was I always said that you know I probably haven't said on here, but I always said before that Shakur Stevenson probably be the one. You know the last person to to you know be on top. Out of all the out of all the fighters at 135, because of his his skill set and um, his discipline that he's been showing to me, that I feel like you know he'll be the one you know uh, sitting at the top at the end of the day. But with that said, though, I mean it's not impossible for anybody to get beat to get beaten in any given night, and Frank Martin could be it. He could do it. You know, Frank Martin. Um, I always see him working out. He's always training. He stays in the gym too. He's like a gym rat, and he's focused on the task at hand or any opportunity that comes to him. He's always focused. So, um, like uh, Frank Martin is really, really, really game and ready for this moment. He's been asking for this moment. He's been wanting to smoke. He's been, you know, him and Keyshawn uh, Davis has been going at it. You know, but he now he he's got the top dog of that, you know, of that stable. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's possible that you know he could give Shakur Stevenson maybe his toughest fight or perhaps win. But it's going to be hard to be Shakur Stevenson. You know, um, Shakur Stevenson is really he's a uh, he's a, a a very technical, sound guy. You know what I'm saying? He's technical. He's skilled. He's hard to hit. Uh, Frank Martin is very powerful, though. I think he's solid. You know, he has good footwork. Um, and he's going to be, he, he has good combination punches that he can put together, you know, when he's ready to let him go. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to be uh, easy to push over. You know what I'm saying? He's coming. And he has a good coach behind him in Derrick James that can um, come up with a great, a great game plan. And. This matchup too. I mean, everybody's probably looking at it too. This matchup probably be, will be pretty good for the storylines too. You have basically two guys that's come from the same camps that Errol Spence Jr. and Terence Crawford came from. You know what I'm saying? So now Terence Crawford already got one for his camp. Now Shakur Stevenson, even though they trained by different trainers, but they still like basically the same camp. They cool. You know what I'm saying? They basically. They like brothers. They train together. So basically, we could, we could say that they the same camp. And um, Terrence Crawford uh, got him one for his team. And I said we're gonna see if Frank Martin can uh, get one for his team. So it'd be a good, you know, a good, um, a good storyline, good build up to the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, and uh, I think it'd be a great fight. I think it'd be a good, great competitive fight that I'm looking forward to seeing. So, but uh, Shakur Stevenson, I think, is going to be the favorite, of course. Um, but but Frank Martin, can't sleep on Frank Martin, man. Can't sleep on him. I like Frank Martin. 
and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he able, he was able to land land and and hurt uh, Shakur Stevenson in this fight. It's possible, you know what I'm saying? He has, a, I think he has a great mindset, and he's focused, um, and he he keeps working. He stays hungry. He's a gym rat in the gym, so I think he could be able to uh, do something with Shakur Stevenson, but. But with that said, we all know for sure it's it's a it's a great matchup for the um put a one thirty five pound division. They fight for the vacant title. And um for the I think it's the WC WC title that Devin Haney vacated. Or oh, he's a champion in recess right now. So it'd be a good matchup. It's be a good matchup, man. Boxing has been on fire. Fire this whole year. So I can't wait for this matchup to happen. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Um about the Shakur Stevenson versus Frank Martin. What's your thoughts? What's your opinions? Let me know in the comments. It's Boxing Mind TV, and I'm out.